Hello everyone, this is Fayam from Awesome Tech Gaming Pro. I hope you all are well. Intel Core i9-3900K 6GHz Raptor Lake CPU benchmarks leaked up to 19% faster in single and 55% faster in multi-threaded versus 12900Ks. The first benchmarks of Intel's 6GHz Core i9-3900K Raptor Lake CPU have been leaked and it's a massive improvement over the existing KS chip. The Intel Core i9-3900KS will be the flagship Raptor Lake CPU featuring 24 cores and 32 threads in an 8P core and 16E core configuration. The CPU is configured at single core boost clock of 6 GHz, 1 to 2 cores. The CPU will be featuring 68MB of combined cache and 125W PL1 rating that goes beyond 253W. The CPU can also consume up to 350W of power when using the extreme performance mode. Compared to the Intel Core i9-12900KS, the Core i9-13900KS offers a 500 MHz boost in max clock speeds and should also offer faster all core frequencies. This allows the CPU to deliver a massive performance improvement, especially in multi-threaded tasks, since it offers more cores and threads. The Intel Core i9-13900KS 6GHz Raptor Lake CPU scores 982.5 points in single core and 18,453.4 points in the multi threaded performance test. Compared to the Core i9-12900KS, there's a 19% boost in single threaded performance. It also posts 9.5% higher performance than the 13900K, 25% higher performance than the Ryzen 9 7950X, and 52% higher performance than the Ryzen 9 5950X. In multi-threaded tests, the CPU is up to 55% faster than the Core i9-12900KS, 9% faster than the Core i9-13900K, and 18% faster than the Ryzen 9 7950X, and 56% faster than the Ryzen 9 5950X. There's no information available on what sort of conditions the CPU was tested in such as which motherboard cooling and whether the chip was running at stock speeds or not. But one thing is definitely sure that the chip will consume much more power than AMD's Ryzen 7000 offerings. While the initial 13th gen Raptor Lake CPU lineup is planned for launch on 20th of October, the Intel Core i9-13900KS would launch in early 2023 in limited quantities. The pricing should be close to the 700 to 750 US dollar figure. Let's talk about AMD Ryzen 9 7950X versus Intel Core i9 3900K specification comparison. Intel is launching its 13th gen Raptor Lake processors within the 24 core i9 3900K, and on the same day that AMD's Ryzen 9 7950X hits store shelves. The i9 3900K and Ryzen 9 7950X are the flagship offerings of the next generation, and with both arriving so closely, PC builders have a tough choice between AMD or Intel. It's best to wait for further testing before deciding on which CPU is best for you. But one thing's for sure, the journey to have the best processor of this generation is highly competitive. AMD released the Ryzen 9 7950X on the same day Intel announced the Core i9 13900K September 27, 2022. It retails for $700, US dollar, though shifts in demand would push that price up or down a hair for a few weeks after release. That's what I saw with the hugely popular Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, which skyrocketed shortly after release before settling down at its least price. The i9 13900K is arriving on October 20. Intel is keeping with the same pricing as the Core i9-12900K. This generation with the new part clocking in at 590 US dollar. That's a bit of an optimistic price as the Core i9-12900K regularly sold for around the 620 US dollar mark. Even at that price though, that the Core i9-13900K is much cheaper than the Ryzen 9 7950X. Overall, you are looking at around $100 less for Intel's part, maybe 120 US dollar at the most. I have to see how pricing holds up in the context of performance, but in a strange shift, it's possible Intel could offer the best value going into 
this next generation on paper core i9 13900k seems to beat the ryzen 9 7950x into the ground but there's a little more to the story like the previous generation the core i9 13900k combines performance e cores and efficient e cores the e cores aren't nearly as powerful so although they raise the core count they don't scale performance in the same way they certainly help with multitasking though which i saw the Core i9 12900KS, you get 24 total cores on the Core i9 13900K, split between 8 P cores and 16 E cores. The Ryzen 9 7950X, meanwhile, comes with 16 cores, although the Intel chip wins out an overall core count. The E cores don't support hyper threading, that means you are getting 32 threads on both parts. The other specifications of note is cache. Intel is boosting its cache likely in response to the gaming prowess of AMD's 3D V cache pack. And you get a total of 68 megabyte split across L2 and L3 cache. AMD still has a slight lead here, though with the Ryzen 9 7950X coming with 80 megabyte of total cache. AMD focuses that cache more in L3, as the Core i9 13900K has twice the L2 cache as AMD's part. Although I can do the specification comparison endlessly. The reality is that the design and architecture are what ultimately determine performance. The only apples to apples specifications I can compare is power, which is much closer than it used to be. AMD pushed power up to 230 watt for the platform, edging closer to the 253 watt limit of the Core i9-13900K. The i9-13900K isn't uh, here yet but i can still get a general sense of how the cpu will perform based on the benchmarks intel has shared in content creation tests like budget bands for photoshop and budget bands for premiere pro intel says the core i9 39900k offers 33 percent and 16 percent increase over the ryzen 9 5950x respectively the Ryzen 9 7950X provides an 18% increase in Premiere Pro and 48% increase in Photoshop over the Ryzen 9 5950X based on this testing. That seems to suggest that the Core i9 13900K and Ryzen 9 7950X will be close in content creation tasks with the Ryzen 9 7950X edging out a small lead. It's important to wait for third party benchmarks, though not only to validate Intel's performance claims but also to ensure a one-to-one -one comparison. In gaming, Intel says the Core i9-13900K provides around 25% increase in performance over the Ryzen 9 5950X. The testing of the Ryzen 9 7950X only produced a 13% increase over the last gen part, which could point to higher gaming performance on Intel's chip. Again though, I need to wait for more testing to see how the processors compare across a range of games. Prior to launch, it's hard to say where exactly the two processors will land or if the extra $110 AMD is asking will earn its keep. The Ryzen 9 7950X is the fastest CPU I've ever seen. Core i9 13900K isn't uh, there, so it's difficult to tell about the performance. If Intel's benchmarks hold up, it's hard to imagine there will be a bad choice between them. The Ryzen 9 7950X marks a big departure for AMD. It only works with the new AM5 socket, putting to rest the AM4 socket AMD has used since 2016, along with the new motherboard. You will also need new DDR5 memory, unlike the Core i9 13900K. AMD only supports DDR5 on Ryzen 7000 processors. DDR5 prices are high, but AMD believes they will drop soon. Intel is speaking with its approach in the previous generation offering DDR4 and DDR5 versions of most motherboards. Although the Core i9 13900K supports DDR4 and DDR5, you will need to buy a motherboard that can fit the memory standard you want to use. Intel is using the same LGA 1700 socket. So if you build a machine with a 12th gen processor, you should be able to upgrade without buying a new motherboard. Be sure to check the support resources for your particular motherboard though. Some motherboards, particularly B series and A series boards, may not offer support. Although you will need more to upgrade to the Ryzen 9 7950X, most people will need to buy a new motherboard regardless of which CPU you choose. Going with DDR4 or reusing some, you have you could have 
save you some money with the Quran 939 k but it depends on what your update plans look like in the future at this point it's hard to recommend buying the ryzen 9 7950x it's a fantastic processor the fastest i have ever seen but intel is promising similar performance gains for around hundred dollar less with the cpu arriving in a few weeks it's probably best to wait until all the testing is out so i can see how the ryzen 9 7950x holds up and if it's worth the extra 110 us dollar so that's it from now if you like this video please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications update thanks for watching to change your